Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. <laughs> it's funny. I'm at the, uh, I don't know, my old house, I guess. I still haven't officially moved out yet, but I definitely live with the hologram and the minigram up on uh, Rainbow Mountain. And my life has changed, right? And uh, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm finally down here because we don't get any computer service up there. I'm down here kind of catching up on Facebook and this, this cat, Dominic, sent me this big list of uh, conditions that one might be experiencing if they're, get, they're, they're getting ready to surrender their space suit to a higher dimensional frequency. And I was reading it and I was like, whoa, that's so radical. And then uh, this cat, Ben, was asking me a couple weeks ago about was wondering about the whole creation thing and what role do you think prayer and one's actions are just letting go go to the flow have to do with life with life and I was like it's so relevant to today right so today a giant giant hurricane swell ah, not a giant hurricane swell a big hurricane swell came in to here and uh Every we all at work, we're all surfers, so uh, we decided to leave work early, but it's only really hitting down at Surfrider Point, and nowhere else really around here has any waves of any kind of quality or consequence. And I was sitting there because I don't really care that I'm not surfing right now. Like, I'm, it's 4.30 in the afternoon, the waves are pumping down at Malibu, and I, I just don't care. Like you, like a, surfing's like a giant attachment to my life. It is definitely one of the things in the 3D world that I'm super attached to, like, like attached to, right? And I've really been working on trying to let that thing go. And now that I'm, you know, teamed up with the hologram and the minigram, you know, my life's totally changed priorities and perceptions and you know, now, now that love is a focal point of, of my, like, life, like, on a real tangible level, not, not, I don't know, it's not separated anymore, it is, it's, it's going home and having dinner every night and waking up together and, and the whole thing, so I was tripping out because I got super bummed out, like, that I wasn't really that amp to go chase down a bunch of waves. Like my buddy I work with was like, why are y'all mad about the swan? Like, I just don't care. Like, and it bums me out, right? Like it, like it confuses me. Like, why don't I care about going surfing today? Like the surf's pumping and I'm just like, nah, I don't want to deal with the madness, right? Like in order to go surf right now, like it's just chaos down at, at surf rider. Like, just even to get a parking spot, it's madness. And out in the water, it's madness. And there's p people in the madness. And everybody's so attached to the surfing thing. And I'm just like moving away from my attachment to it. And it puzzles me. But then I'm reading all this stuff that, that this cat Dominic sent me. And I'm like, oh, whoa, dude. I'm just, I'm just kind of letting go of this lower dimensional reality that I'm existing in, you know? And, you know, to get back to Ben's question, yeah, like prayer, dude, like I've always got to be praying nowadays. Like, you know, I'm not a religious guy, I'm a spiritual guy. And so what I pray to may not be what you pray to, but what it is, is it's an understanding of a power greater than myself and, and realizing that I, I can't do any of this by myself, that I need, I need bigger dimensional help than I, I'm capable of, of mustering up here in this lower dimensional reality because the bigger dimensional help ha helps me kind of weave through this life experience. And it's been really interesting late, lately because I've really been letting go of things. And one of the things in the list Dominic was talking about was just like how like acquaintances and friends start peeling away and old places start peeling away like I'm sitting here in this house like my buddy who I live with he moved in basically with 
his girlfriend. They're like having a kid together all of a sudden and stuff, right? Like neither of, I haven't spent the night here in a month, at least. Still paying rent. That's kind of weird, right? I'm paying rent at two places. Like, what's that all about? I don't know. But it, it, it's the weird thing because I don't want to let go. Like, this is, this is where me and my friend have spent the last two plus years, like, living a harmonious life together. Like, I love my bro I live with, man. Like, but I guess it, you know, it's the end of an era. It's the time to move on. Like, so. I sit here, it's just kind of weird to be in here now because I don't live here anymore. Like, I don't live here anymore, but it's still, you know, it's still a place that I, it's weird. And so, you know, like, yeah, we're, I think we're all experiencing it. It's, it's this heavy duty shift of consciousness, of perception. And, I, I've been getting so many emails and correspondences from people that are experiencing the same thing that like now is the time that that there is this time to like move through out of this lower dimensional reality and, and, and shed these forms and these ideas and these concepts and, and move to a, a bigger, bigger all-encompassing concept based upon love, not even a concept of feeling and understanding and intuitive knowledge that we all contain within us. And you know, what's really been kind of going on is because I live on top of the mountain and I don't get any sort of cell service or internet service. Like I don't really like tune into what's going on out there anymore. And, and I come, when I do, I pop in, I, I, you know, I glance here and there and I see that there seems to be an elevated elevated level of chaos going on on Spaceship Earth right now. Like, I mean, I don't need to list all, list all the madness going on out there, but it's some radical, radical stuff. It's so hot. My spiritual advisor just sent me the craziest text. It says something about reinventing the world, dude. Like, right when I'm thinking about all this. So I guess what I, I'm, I'm getting at is that, that all I do know for sure is I can't do this by myself. I don't know anyone who can. We're all in this together. And I think that's the greater lesson that's going on is, is we have to let go of all this sort of materialistic, self-involved, con consuming of things and, and go out and, and get answers and relief from our fellow beings that are on the same journey because we're all moving together and we all need to kind of be feeling each other's energies to reassure ourselves because we're leaving this lower dimensional reality and and any sort of journey into an unknown is is sort of a I don't know if fear or scary is the right word to use but but trepidation maybe would be a good word to use. And yeah, I've been feeling it. I felt it today, man. I've been driving around pretending that I want to surf when I just don't really care. I really, I really am just killing time till I go pick up the mini gram from the stables and we go home and we make dinner and we do math homework and I read Alice in Wonderland in, to her tonight and go to bed and get up tomorrow and, and try to live like the highest vibrational frequency I can and, and be part of the solution. Now, I don't know what that means tomorrow because I could just blow it all off and go surfing. I, I don't really know, but it's interesting because I've had a lot of questions today and I finally got to a computer and flipped on Facebook because I have... Facebook on my iPhone, but the messenger thing no longer works. So I have to actually come to a computer to communicate with you. So that's what's going on. If you guys are on Facebook trying to get a hold of me, like I got to actually get to a, a computer that's wired into the wall, if you know what I mean. So um, I don't know if, if you're all experiencing it, but I've definitely been experiencing a little confusion, a little disorientation. A lot of discomfort in my spacesuit, and Dominic's list of stuff said that, that 
that our spacesuits would be giving us a lot of trouble because we're shedding them or like getting ready to expand out of them, like burst light out of the spacesuit. I don't know, man. It's a radical journey we're all on. I, I feel total love in my life. Like the, the hologram and the minigram have actually just so changed my life and filled it with love and and filled me with love and I'm able to, to give love back to them and it's this reciprocal love sharing thing we're all doing up on Rainbow Mountain. It's, 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 it's the time, right? Like it's time. Like it's just intuitively, we all know it's time that the madness of this 3D landscape just can't, can't continue. The gig is up, right? Like the gig is up. There's, there's no more, there's no more coffee to be drank. If you know what I mean, it's, it's time to, to move beyond it all. Anyway, I just needed to chime in, man. It's, it's been a, like I said, like I've, been giving up my attachment to a lot of things and and one of them sort of been like this equipment that that we communicate with and I know that that we're doing it so I, that's why I just wanted to chime in with you my loyal YouTube viewers and just say I love you you give me more than I could ever give you I I, I just don't think you really know what you guys do for me when you send me these messages of encouragement and understanding and asking questions and keeping my mind fluid and loose and limber and wow, good stuff, people, right? Good stuff. It's pretty radical, man. It's pretty radical. There's a giant swell and I don't care. That is a giant switch of reality for me. Anyway, this is The Illusion, reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth in a place I used to live in. <laughs> Weird, right? Well, I just went and figured I'd chime back in because I read the message that my spiritual advisor sent to me while I was making this video, and this is what he said. Wanting to reform the world without discovering one's higher self is like trying to cover the world with leather to avoid the pain of walking on stones and thorns. It is much simpler to wear shoes. Right? Like, okay, if you, if you guys trip out on what the illusion's all about, I'm making a video trying to explain that. Because I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I am feeling that. It is much easier to wear shoes than cover the world with leather.